to be focusing on the Super 6 Comprehension Strategies. And the Super 6 Comprehension Strategies are so important because without those, we're sometimes going to come across words in books or we're not going to be able to get as much information from books if we don't have really good comprehension. So today, we're just going to have a little bit of a refresher. The first one is... Making connections. Fantastic, everybody. We're going to be making connections. And when you make connections, how can you do that when you're reading a book? When you're making connections, Emily? You can, you can compare the book to something that's happening. You can. That's a good one. You can compare the book that you're reading or about to read with something that's happening. Maybe something that's happening in the world today. How else can you make connections, Molly? You can compare the book another book? Yes, you can. You can compare a book, whatever the topic might be, if it's a book about the beach, maybe you've read another book about the beach and you can make comparisons between the two and connect the two. Very good. What's another way you can make connections, Hunter? Connect the book and yourself. You can connect the book to yourself, yes. So if you've had some personal experiences, that's a great way of comprehending the book. By being able to say, oh, I've done that or I've been there, helps us to really understand the book more deeply. Yes, Lucas. That's right, yes, it might have been something historical, mightn't it? You can compare it to what's happened in the past. Very, very good. Okay, let's look at the next one, which says Making predictions. How can we make predictions when we're reading a book? How can we go about doing that, Jake? Guessing what's going to happen in the story. Yes, have guessing what's happening in the story. Now when we do our guessing, are we just making a wild guess? Or are we, what are we using to help make our predictions? Uh, Georgina? We're making a good guess. You're making a good guess. So what can you look at to help you do that, Emily? The pictures. The pictures are a great thing to use, aren't they? They're really, really good. Noah? The title. You can use the title. Yes, the title sometimes is a really good thing to use. And maybe something else, there's a few other things we can think of. Yes, the blurb on the back. We like to read the blurb on the back because it gives us a little bit of a, a sneaky look at what might be happening in the text and we can make predictions about it from there. Fantastic. Okay, the next one is? Questioning. Questioning. Yeah, questioning is a really good strategy. What can we do when we're questioning? What will we do, Jake? Ask someone what the question is so you can get ideas of Yep, so maybe you, you need to ask other people questions to get to help you with what you're reading. That's a good one. What's another one, Erna? You can ask yourself. You can ask yourself. You can question yourself. Maybe you, you know the answer. You just have to think about it a little bit more. Fantastic, everyone. And this one says? Visualise. Yeah, we love visualising. Visualising. What do you do when you visualise when you're reading? Natalie? Very good, yeah. You're maybe making a picture in your head because sometimes when you're reading, there aren't any pictures around to help you. So you have to make that movie even, like a picture inside your head to get things sorted because sometimes there's lots of characters talking and they go from one place to another. It's very hard to follow. So visualising, making movies in your head really helps to do that. Okay, and the next one says monitoring. monitoring. Very good. Monitoring. So when we're monitoring... Sometimes we get to words that we don't know. And when we do that, we have to use other strategies to help us, don't we? Yes, Emily? You can read around the word. That's a good strategy, reading around the word. So if you get to a word and you think, oh gosh, I really don't know that one, I'll keep on reading and it might help me to fill in that gap. That's an excellent idea. But it's all about saying to yourself, I don't know what that word says, but I'm going to try and use everything I know about reading to help me to read it. So that's excellent, everyone. And the last one is? Summarising. Yeah, number six of the Super Six is summarising. And summarising is when we've got lots of information and we try and make only the key points, put them together, and so the information is a little bit more simple to understand. That's a really good thing to use when we're doing um, reading information texts. They can be really, really helpful.